Hello my fellow crafters, welcome to Inspiration for Cards. My name is David and today I'm going to be making a card. Um, I'm going to be linking all the materials that I'm using below in the description box, So, um, but I will show you of course as well. I'm going to be making a card using black and gold, nothing more. So I'll be using um, some gold embossing powder, I'll be using my Fersen Mark, um, but that is for later when I will stamp this Concord and Ninth Banner Builder stamp. Funny story this is, but I will come to that in a minute. So I'm gonna do that later on. First, I'm gonna be working with this. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna cut out a background of the leaf pattern. And uh, this beautiful die from Elizabeth Craft Design. It's a two part die. You get the leaves and you get the frame. Da, 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 da. So you get the leaves and you get the frame to cut around that. So I'll be using this in a minute, not now yet, um, but that's what I'm gonna be using. Now I've got this idea and I don't know if it will work, but I'm, uh, you've seen me, if you've seen my videos before, you've seen me use the Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, clear adhesive tape in different formats. I've got the three millimeter one, the very thin one, and I've got a massive roll here uh, and everything in between I use. It's fantastic stuff. And I was thinking, Will gold leaves stick to that? Well, we're gonna find out together. Um, because I thought while I'm experimenting, I might just as well film it. So here we are. So what I've done, I took a piece of black cardstock, it could have been any color because it's gonna be covered, but yeah, I was working with black anyway. So I thought, okay, let's do that. Um, I've got black cardstock and I've put some uh, clear adhesive on that. Um, I'm gonna stick this on there, and then I'm gonna get my Nouveau Gilding Flakes. Now, excuse the uh, messy pot, but uh, I also do resin art and paintings and stuff like that. And this came from my stack there. So it's a bit, uh, yeah, there's some dirty stuff on there. Don't pay attention. So I haven't used this die yet because my idea was to stick this on, put the gold flakes on, and then cut the frame out. Just simply because, um, I want this to be on there very straight and I can't do that. So let's go ahead and peel off this backing paper. Put that back. And I'm gonna cover half of this with the backing again, just so I can position this on there. Um, And this will be a very interesting experiment because I don't have a clue whether it will work, yes or no. So let me get this out from under there. And then I will put this on front and press it down. Now you don't want to touch the adhesive. Um, that's something that I've learned. <laughs> Um, so that's why I'm using this top bit again to really make sure that this is pressed down. Good. Now this stuff is really sticky. That's why I think it, this will work, but you never know. So I'm going to take out my gilding flakes and I, have you ever worked with it? Let me know in the comments, but uh, then you know this stuff flies everywhere. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just gonna dump it on there at first and it sticks everywhere to my fingers and everything. I think this should be enough, but let me get, let me get a scrap piece of paper. Put that underneath. So I can catch all the bits that come off. And now I'm just gonna rub this in. Just gonna put that down and rub this in all the holes. Just make sure I have enough on there. In the holes and around. I don't have a clue, but it looks like it's working. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> okay, the gold flakes are everywhere now. This is sure is messy, but it's fun because it's quite quick, actually, because I'm talking now, but if you're not talking, then it's, 
Yeah, you can do it in, in no time. This is working beautifully. I will definitely have a think about what else you can do with this. And now I'm just rubbing that gold flake in all the nooks and crannies and all the holes. But this definitely has potential. Look at that. This is coming together exactly as I hoped, even better. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This stuff, this adhesive is really something. And there are other brands on the market, of course, that, that will probably do the same. It's just that I can get this one. I know the scrapbook.com is a very good one. I can't get that here in the Netherlands. So, uh, but this one, the Elizabeth Craft Designs, I've tried many other brands, but so far, this one definitely is a big winner for me. Good. Let me get the loose bits off the first bit and clean this up. And I will just throw this back in the pot. Because why waste it? We can use that again. Get rid of all that gold. <laughs> okay. This is looking very, very nice. Now I will just continue to rub this. Really make sure it's well adhered in all these nuts and crannies and creases. And, and I just use my finger because it's soft material. You feel the, the structure of the paper a bit, but it's not. Okay, and I'm gonna take a brush, just a stiff brush, and I'm gonna brush off all the loose bits and to really make sure we have all the patterns revealed okay there we have it the first stage now what i want to do is i want to cut out the frame and now you see i can really position it around that edge so let me get my die cutting machine out get my cutting plates my well-loved <laughs> cutting plates I'm going to put the platform in with the just the normal uh, platform, the thin die uh, shim and the cut plate. I'm going to put my paper on. But first I'm going to position it. I will do it twice because it has to cut through the adhesive, the gold foil and maybe even three times because why not? It's got quite a lot of layers to, to cut through. Did it cut through? And it did. Perfect. So, take this off. Push this out of the die. Look at that. We've got a beautiful, beautiful background. Good. That was step one. I'm going to put this to the side. But it's not sticky at all. So all the stickiness is gone which is perfect. Right, next I'm going to take my Concord and Ninth. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I've had this die. This was one of the first dies that I bought because I really like the idea. And I've been struggling with this. I've been struggling with this, I'm gonna be honest. I, For the life of me, I could not get it to work. And I will show you what I did wrong. And maybe I can prevent you from making the same mistake. Or maybe it's just me being thick-headed. I'm gonna use the happy birthday, dear friend, because I need a birthday card for a friend. I'm gonna take my Misty. I love the Misty. And I've got my uh, sticky grit in the Misty, Sissix sticky grit. And that is perfect because the, uh, it will not, lift my cardstock whatsoever. 
I'm just going to put this on like this. Pick up the stamp. You see my paper is staying right where I put it. I like that. Take my Versamark, ink up this stamp, and press. Now I'm going to do that again because I want a good impression. You can't see it probably on the screen. Well, you can see it a bit. Um, but Put back the protective layer of the sticky grid. Just so it's protected. And we're done with stamping. Next, I'm going to take my gold embossing powder. And I forgot my, um, I forgot my embossing magic again, which is standard, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Actually, I'm lucky today because it did not stick because normally with black, it's a nightmare. Put the embossing powder back. <laughs> Put that out of the way and let's melt this powder. I'm going to use my Sizzix heat tool. Okay, that's nice and melted, beautifully embossed. And now, I took the die and I even printed out from the website this image, like, okay, what can go where? And I was putting this on and no, that doesn't fit. Oh, the other way around then. No, that doesn't fit. Ah, oh, that's weird. This way then, couldn't get it to figure out, so I didn't use it. And then, all of a sudden, I was looking at this and I looked at this die and I thought, ah, oh, wait a minute, that goes there. And then these cut pieces will go there. So. I woke up, and probably you're laughing at me now, but okay. I'm gonna line this up, put a piece of tape there. And then I'm gonna take the other piece, put that on here. Get my die cut machine out, and then you will see what I mean. Okay, this is all die cut out. And now let me just show you. So I've got three pieces now. And I've got this big piece. And now it's actually quite simple because what you do, you take the first one and this lines up perfectly, like this, like this, like this. Now there's also a smaller one in there. That's this one. And then you can choose to do just happy birthday without dear friend. Finally, it makes sense. Since September, I had this die and I haven't used it just once and I just could not figure it out. So I cut it up and changed it around and did not work the way I wanted it. I finally got it. So you take some glue, put this on and you've got your beautiful sentiment banner. Sometimes life can be so simple. Right, let me get my card front and then we will start to assemble this simple but quick card. Okay, so I've got my uh, standard A2 size or Dutch uh, normal standard size card here, black card base, because I want a black card base. And I will write in there with a white gel pen. Now let me get my beautiful background. 
and put some tape on there. I'm going to take my little tweezers and peel off this tape. These tweezers are a lifesaver for me. There we go. Now make sure the leaves are orientated, orientated to the top. And then I just have to line this up correctly. There we go. I'm just going to take this and really press it on. This will also again polish all the final bits in there. There we go. Next I'm going to assemble this one. So I'm going to start with a happy happy, happy happy shake, do the happy happy shake. And put that on there. And this is easy to line up because this part has to be equal to this part. And press. Now this glue will dry beautifully matte and clear so everything that seeps out you will not see. So that's good. Another the birthday. See, once you know how this set works, it's simple. And as, as I said, maybe it was just me, but uh, I'm happy now I know how to work it. Because I really like this uh, this set. It has, oh, a lot of different, you can, you can work with colors, you can work with anything. Make beautiful banners for on your cards. Or even in your journals you can use it. Okay, I've got some black foam tape that I will put on there. Okay, so I've got the tape on there. Now let's peel off these backings. I'm going to put some glue on there because that will give me some wiggle time because I really want to make sure I position this well. And after all this work that we've put in there, I don't want to ruin it, and knowing myself, I will. Okay, so let's put this to the side. And find the position that we want to put it. I think this is nice. And commit. Press it on there. And there we have it. Our top folding. Beautiful. Happy birthday card. For a guy. I love it. It's it's nice. It's shiny. Uh, or even for a woman. I don't care. But in this case it's for a man. Uh, it's a birthday uh, that's coming up. That I needed a card for. I love it. I love the gold. I love the shine on it. Uh, yeah, uh, and I love it when a plan comes together, don't you? Um, so, yeah, thank you. If you like this video, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below in the description bar, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. That would really help me and make my day. So, thank you for that. Thank you for watching this one, and I hope to see you again for the next one. Thank you. Bye.